It appears that President Joe Biden is poised to authorize European nations to dispatch fighter jets to Ukraine for the first time. This significant decision could potentially represent a pivotal breakthrough in Ukraine's war against Russia. On June 15th, Western defense leaders provided an unprecedented level of detail in their public outline of plans to revamp Ukraine's air force with Western aircraft, primarily F-16s. Leading the charge is an international coalition spearheaded by NATO members Denmark and the Netherlands. Their mission is extensive to train pilots and support staff, maintain the aircraft, and ultimately supply F-16s to Ukraine. The pivotal question remains, why are the F-16s so essential for the Ukrainians? This is Military Mechanics, and in this episode, we will discuss the possible effects of F-16 and AGM-88 Harm missiles in Ukraine. Despite the inherent challenges of the ongoing conflict, Ukrainian airspace remains a contested zone, with neither Russia nor Ukraine achieving total dominance. The potency of Western air defense systems has kept the vastly superior Russian air force from overtaking Ukrainian airspace. On the flip side, Ukraine has been unable to neutralize Russia's robust air defense systems, struggling to compete with the superior Russian air force. The Ukrainians find themselves in a challenging situation, desperately needing to counterbalance this aerial disparity to launch a successful counteroffensive. The key to changing the course of the battle lies in disrupting or dismantling Russia's air defenses. Doing so would provide Ukraine's air force with a much needed operational window to deliver close air support or CAS for ground troops. Achieving this goal hinges on executing suppression of enemy air defenses, or SEAD, and destruction of enemy air defenses, DEAD, missions. It is common knowledge that the United States has been supplying Ukraine with AGM-88 high-speed anti-radiation missiles, or HARM, since mid-2022. These missiles, typically compatible with NATO aircraft, have been launched against Russian targets from Ukrainian Su-27 and MiG-29 aircraft. This innovative use of resources is a testament to Ukraine's technological resourcefulness and pragmatic ingenuity. However, to fully exploit the full potential of the HARM system's SEAD and DEAD capabilities, a compatible aircraft is paramount. The F-16 presents a viable solution to this compatibility challenge with its innate ability to effectively integrate with this missile system. The AGM-88 Harm missile will be able to demonstrate all its capabilities thanks to the F-16. Let's see how this missile operates. The AGM-88 Harm is an air-to-surface tactical missile designed to seek and destroy enemy radar-equipped air defense systems. Weighing about 800 pounds and measuring 13.8 feet in length, the AGM-88 can be launched from a variety of aircraft platforms. It has a range of up to 80 nautical miles and can reach speeds greater than Mach 2, making it a formidable force against enemy air defenses. The AGM-88 missile has the sophisticated ability to locate, engage, and obliterate a target with minimal intervention from the air crew. Its innovative proportional guidance system, centered on tracking enemy radar signals, employs a static antenna and seeker head strategically positioned within the missile's nose cone. At the core of the HARM's target engagement process is its passive radar seeker. Unlike active radar systems, which send out signals and then analyze the reflected signals, or echoes, to identify and track targets, passive radar systems merely listen for emissions from other sources. Once an enemy radar emission is detected, the HARM's onboard guidance system calculates the location of the radar emitter and plots a course to that target. The missile is then directed to fly toward the radar site, following the source of the radar emitter. Missions. The missile's home-on-radar capability is particularly effective against enemy radar sites that are active, meaning they are emitting radar signals. 
In the context of SEAD and DEAD missions, the Harm missile is typically fired in the general direction of known or suspected enemy air defense positions. Once in flight, the missile will home in on any detected radar emissions, destroying the source and thus neutralizing the threat. The Harm can engage targets in two primary modes, preemptive and reactive. In the preemptive mode, the harm is used to strike at known enemy air defense sites, typically before a major air operation. In the reactive mode, the missile is used to counter enemy air defenses that become active during a mission, responding to the threat in real time. If the radar site is not emitting, the missile's passive radar seeker will not be able to detect and engage it. However, modern air defense systems often need to keep their radars active to effectively engage incoming aircraft, making them vulnerable to harm strikes. Undeniably, the F-16 isn't the sole aircraft that can be equipped with the harm missile, yet it offers specific advantages within the Ukrainian scenario. The F-16 constitutes a significant portion of the NATO fighter fleet. This prevalence bestows a compelling advantage in terms of accessibility, pilot training, maintenance and spare parts availability. Nearly every NATO member nation possesses older F-16 blocks and these seemingly obsolete aircraft are far from being redundant. They can readily be repurposed into potent weapons, particularly when deployed under the command of adept Ukrainian pilots. The abundance and potential of these aircraft could become a game-changer in the ongoing conflict.